Okay, now it's over to Chef Mark. And today, Mark, in the Beko Kitchen, an American classic. But yeah, this is really a classic classic, isn't it? That's right. We are making chili dogs Yum. today. And it's really easy. It's really simple. So we're going to use the sausages, but we're going to take the, the inside out, and we're right. going to fry that and make the chili around that. So it's, okay. so it's a really fast uh, way of creating a chili dog. Brilliant. Um, in a different way. Okay, nice. No, so we're going to learn something new. <laughs> we are. Good. A new technique on how to do the chili dogs the classic way. Thanks. Look forward to it. We'll get sticky very soon with making this. And of course, it's the perfect time because summer is getting closer. And if anyone is having a barbecue, this is a recipe you could use. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, we're making a classic American takeout the chili dog. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of going to a baseball game in New York. Maybe that's my next holiday. You know, <laughs> Sorry, about the holiday. About holiday I know, again. I know, I know. We're back into work. Let's get going. What do we need to right, do? Right, so what we need to do is, uh, you know, you can uh, pick your favourite sausages here. So we've got some really good um, pork sausages. Yeah. So this is a really fast way of doing it. You can make a traditional chili if you want, but like this is a really quick way. So just give it a score, yeah. take the skin off, and then just take all the sausage meat out. Okay. So it's a, you know, it's, it's like an already flavoured meat, you know? Okay, so, great. So you've got all your seasoning in there. So you pick your favourite sausage, you take the skin off. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, mix. so I'm going to get you to do that. Okay, good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just slice them there. Okay, cool. There you go, so you can, you can, yep. you can pop, them in, pop them in there. And then we can just fry that off straight away. So I've got a pan which is just warming up over here. Yeah. So we'll just get it nice and warm. And then I'm just going to slice some uh, onions. And then we'll start, once you once you do like another couple of sausages, you can just start um, frying it off in a little bit of oil. Okay. And then as you're cooking it, you know, get it nice and brown, but you also want to um, break it up as well. Okay, great. And then we've got some onions and garlic, so just use all suspects. And then uh, we've got some chilli powder as well and uh, some beans. And then, you know, then we can add the chilli. So we've got the chilli sauce, which we can add. So, you know, whatever your favourite chilli sauce is, uh, we've got a few different ones to um, go through a little bit later on. Wow, Talk this is about the thing about food, really, is it can take you around the world. Because it's very American, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no, it's classic American. Classic so you've got, um, you know, as you said, you know, the baseball games. Yep. Um, you get this. You know, I mean, you could just go and you could make a chili. You could make a chili with mince, or you could make a chili without mince. Uh, go through the whole process and just, uh, you know, do your barbe do your sausages on a barbecue, and then just put your sauce on there after. A little bit of oil on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little bit of oil, and we'll get the uh, we'll get the sausage meat in first. Okay, and we just break it up as we cook it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, good. Look at that. A sizzle. That's what you want. And I'm just going to break it up as we cook it, much like you do with normal <laughs> mince. I love your facial expression now <laughs> that you do this. So much concentration. Well, I don't want to get it wrong. No, 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 that's good. Been on so a few just... TV shows where you go away on a holiday and you just you never come <laughs> back, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm upping my game. <laughs> that's it, so you can already see, nice hot pan, you're getting a little bit of colour in there, so that's really good. So you can keep it on the go. I'm going to add, um, going to add the onions in now as well, so that can be just be cooking down. You know, at the yeah. same time, you're breaking it all up, you're setting the onions down. And this is a really good way to get the uh, flavour that you like, because we're using a pork sausage, but as you said, you know, you might want, you know, anything else, a different flavour, and you can just buy the sausage, take the skin off. Well, yeah, I mean, you could do it with a, a chorizo as well, you know, oh, yeah. you know, like a really yeah. soft, soft um, fresh chorizo, you know, add the extra spice in there. Whatever you've got, it's, it's entirely up to you, you know. Speaking of spicy, how spicy are you going to make this with your chilli? Well, it is called uh, chilli dog. Chili, oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> now, you should be used to spice now. Oh, well, got, yes, yes, you're right. No, I mean, I mean that's it. That's the beauty of making the chilli yourself. You can add, you know, as much or as little spice as you want, or different flavours. You know, so we've got the classic, um, you know, just the classic chilli sauce here, which we can use. So we'll pop a bit of that in. But then, if you want to spice it up a little bit, we've got the um, uh, chipotle chilli sauce as well. So Ooh, you get a nice yeah. uh, sort of smoke from there, or you can put a sweet chilli sauce in. You know, it's entirely up to you. Um, but I've got a little bit of chilli powder, so I'm just going to give you a light sprinkle of that mm -hmm. as we're cooking everything down. And then we'll just keep going. So probably about sort of five, six minutes, uh, breaking that sausage mince down, sweating those onions down, and then we're probably ready for our next stage. Okay, yeah, because so you put in some garlic before, did I see Yeah, you yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got the garlic in, in there as well. So just uh, give it time to cook out, and uh, you can smell it now, you know? You've got all those aromas in there. Oh, yeah, it smells you know, a little, so good. A little season with some pepper. So if you're going to use sausages and you've got all, it's already flavoured, so just um, bear that in mind and, and just taste it. 
uh, a little bit later on before you add any salt. You can put some pepper in now, but just always taste it before you add salt or just add a little bit because you don't want to over salt it. And can I just say, it gets easier to break the sausage down the more you cook it. You did a great job, Mark. Am I doing a good job? OK, good, because I was worried there for a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Mark, for your vote of confidence. It smells good. And we'll show you how to do the second part in just a few minutes. Now here we are in the Beko kitchen. We've got a chilli dog to finish off. A chilli dog with a bit of a difference because we've opened up some pork sausages. We've taken the meat out. We've put some garlic, some onion. What else do you put in there? Some spices? A little bit of chilli. A little um, bit of chilli. Chilli powder. And we've got a bit of tomato puree now, so okay. that goes in there. So give that a stir around. Give it a little bit of a cook. Nice. That's and a nice then uh, we've one to make, got a, a, a can of tomatoes. Pop yep. that in there. I'll pop it all in. And then we're just going to uh, cook that down, maybe about another sort of five minutes, get all those flavours together, right. reduce some of that liquid off, and then we can put our kidney beans in. Okay, Check nice. your seasoning, and that is pretty much ready to go. OK, you great. Know? And uh, don't forget the chilli as well. Oh, yes. you got so some good chilli going I'm, on I'm there. I'm going to pop it there, so I want a nice blend of both chillies, uh, chilli sauces in there. <laughs> OK. And I want you to do it to your level of spice. Oh, to my level of spice, which has gone up slightly. OK, so since we're talking <laughs> American food, yeah. uh, let's talk. When, when I say American food, you know, that's something we think of, the chilli dogs at the uh, hot dog game. What else do you think of? What is America good at when it comes to food? <laughs> Chili dogs? Nice. Yeah. No, no, um, no, you actually do think about that. You know, like the, the hot dogs and the baseball yep. games and the basketball games and, and pizzas. And, oh, um, true. But having said that, there's some amazing restaurants in uh, America. What did you enjoy the most when you were in America? What did I enjoy the most? Food-wise. Oh, food-wise, I was going to say gambling. <laughs> <laughs> no, food-wise, um, no, we went to this amazing restaurant on uh, New Year's Eve, actually. Uh, oh, it must have been about oh, eight, ten years ago. Yeah. But it was it's probably one of America's top restaurants. Wow. And um, yeah, we had to book this. And I, I remember I was up in the morning till to like four in the morning because of the time zones to book this table. And this is about three months out before Christmas. But we finally got a table, and it was like the best experience ever. Oh, nice. Was it the best experience because the food was amazing, or just the atmosphere being an oh, American e New Year's Eve? Everything. Um, you know, on a on a young chef's wage, it was oh, like yeah. it was the most expensive meal I've ever paid for. Oh, and, I, and I'll tell you, brilliant. it was like the expectations were up here, and it blew them out of the water. Oh, and I would brilliant. pay it again. That is good advice. Thank you. Okay, so what are you doing with your buns there? Right, so we're just going to toast them in the griddle pan. So nice and hot, a little bit of oil, and I just want to toast them, get a little bit of colour on there, just lighten them up as well. You know, if you if you've got a bit more time, you could steam them over okay, a pot. You know, yep. that really fluffs them up, and then you could uh, just pop them on the barbecue or on a griddle pan or pop them in the oven for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to show you something a little bit different, um, how to serve it and how to cut them. Okay, I've got some cool. cheese as well. Yep. You can't have a chilli dog without any cheese. We're going to put some cheese on and then pop it in the oven so it melts all over the top. It's going to be awesome. We're going to put kidney beans in now. Oh, and then you're going to put the chilli in now. Well, well how wide well, I'm scared. How much is it? A little bit? How much is a lot? Oh, so this you is... keep doing it to your taste. That cheese. OK. Yeah. <laughs> your tolerance, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Cholula has got a kick. <laughs> And I'll pop a little bit of this out. too. Maybe you want to taste it. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Should I check it first? Some more in. Um, but it is a chili dog, right? And you've got, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of spice in here. But just remember, you've got some bread as well, so that's going to sort of tone it down. You're going to have some cheese on top as well. So I mean, when you eat it all together, it's going to, it is going to tone down. Oh, there he goes. It's got a kick, and I think we'll balance it out now with some chipotle. Well, I mean, it is a chilli dog, you know, so it needs some, uh, it does need some kick in it. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it probably just needed just a touch more, I think. <laughs> no, it's going to, trust me, I tasted it, it's going to be good. No, it's good. And then, and any more seasoning if you need seasoning. Oh, yeah, that, a bit of salt and pepper, yeah, That's cool. there. And then, and then once, you, once your buns are nice and toasted and fluffy, what the Americans do, and what I like to do, is just cut them through the top. You know, instead of going through the side and making a sandwich, you're cutting them in the top, and then you can just open them, and it just folds out, giving you a nice little cup and vessel to put all your chilli in, and you can pack mm. more in there, and it's, a, it's fractionally easier to eat. This is going good. Is it, oh, it's, no, it is good. It's back with vengeance in it's the It's got a nice there. pack, but it's, it's not overpowering as much as I thought. No, that's good. It's right, a beautiful happy, mix, actually, between the kidney beans it? and the sausages and everything else that's in there. That's a great right, mix. Right, let's build one quickly. Okay, good. Bring it, bring it over, put the chilli in. Okay, so... Thank you, Chef. It's all about presentation, isn't it? <laughs> that's it. Is that enough? No, a bit, a bit more. more. Cool. It's a generous Chef, we like this. That's okay, it, cool. lovely. You, do, you fill the other one. Yep. And then we'll get some cheese. 
cheese on top, and then if you just pop them in a hot oven now for about a minute, two minutes, that'll just melt, and it'll just be like the best thing. Oh. Well, maybe not the healthiest. No, but, but it's um, going to taste tastiest. delicious, I'm sure. Okay, if you want the full recipe, go to our website. We'll see the finished product very soon, and I'll be taking some of these home, I think. <laughs> Mark, these look, and uh, I'm sure, going to taste Ooh. fantastic. They look great, don't yeah, they? Yeah, good work. Yeah, and what are you doing tomorrow? Well, I've got uh, Vanessa Baxter joining me. We're doing a recipe out of this book.